you know, how was that um, discussion for you when you broke that news to your soon to be former employer that you're, you know, moving on? Oh gosh. You know, I was dreading it. I, I, I was absolutely dreading it. I waited to the end of the day. and like, Oh my God, he's going to bite my head off. He's going to kill me. And I, I explained it in, in a way like, look, I, I love working here. It's not you. It's not the company. It's certainly not my colleagues. I I've enjoyed them. This is just, this is a move I need to make for my family and my, my family stability and well being. It's, it puts us in a financially much more advantageous position. I will be working from home all of the time, not a hybrid schedule, not COVID, like forever, <laughs> you know, and I, I never really, well, you know what? I won't say I never did. I actually, I, I thought working from home was cool before the rest of the world thought it was cool. Like I, I was trying to get Deloitte to give me more work from home days because I realized that that was going to be the key to being able to raise, to raise a small child and manage you know, deadlines, right? Now I am finally, this is as close to the utopian idea that I had for myself uh, as I've ever been. So it was really hard to turn it down. I was not pitching out resumes. I was not like frantically looking for a new job. They found me like this, my new company hired a recruiter. The recruiter found me on LinkedIn. Um, they needed someone who was doing the exact type of work that I happened to be doing for the last year. And I, I've I had quite a volume of it. Uh, and so the skill sets happened to, to match up and I got sent in for an interview. The interview went well. I got sent in for several more interviews. Those went well too. And I got offered this position that I just, I can't, cannot turn down. Uh, there's a little bit of guilt there, particularly when it's a company that you like and being, being general counsel, I was everybody's, you know, guiding beacon in the company if there was a question ask Nicole ask Nicole send that to Nicole what did Nicole say about this did Nicole approve this you know it was it was the catch-all I was this catch-all of making people feel safe in making good decisions and I was trying to empower my staff to make well-reasoned well-educated decisions you know you have to make you have to make calls on your own I'm not going to be there all the time but I can teach you how to make a better decision for me that's effective lawyering that's effective leading that's just effective everything. I don't want to be the one to make your decisions for you. I want to empower you to make the decisions for yourself and teach you how to get there. And so that's the relationship that I had with my staff. And I, even though, you know, I had access to, to a closed office and all, which I use for phone calls, I took up a cubicle, like in the middle of the floor, like center of the floor, so that I was extremely open. Anyone could see me accessible all the time, you know, joining conversations, overhearing conversations and chiming in, you know, they got used to that, <laughs> you know, taking, taking questions, being accessible to people so that they didn't think of me as a legal beagle in the corner. I was, you know, the young hip Aaron Brockovich type attorney that they can come and talk to. Right. Uh, and, and that, that worked out. So the staff is like, they, they're fearful almost like they're like, still like, you're leaving. <gasps> they're scared of the guys. Yeah. You know, there's nothing to be scared of. You know, you know, this, you know what, you know, I'm writing manuals. If there's a reference question, there's a manuals folder for it. I'm going to write a manual on anything and everything I can think of that we've done in all the time I've been here, which I do that anyway. I, I write process. That's, that's one of the things I do. Well, that's one of the earliest skills that I realized I had is I I'm, I'm a structured thinker. I write processes for people step-by-step -step processes, guides, what to do, when to do it, how to do it, what happens if this happens, fail safes. I write processes, that's what I do, I write manuals. So I made a folder of manuals for them to be able to utilize. Um, the COO you know, hinted at doing a counter offer, which made it harder, you know, that would make it harder. It's, it's already hard leaving them. Yeah. Um, this is one of those places that, you know, sometimes you leave a workplace and you're like, good riddance. I've had that. I've had experiences like that. They were not great experiences. And you're just like, see ya. <laughs> this is not, <laughs> this was not one of those places. I, I leave, I leave first tech with a heavy heart uh, and, and a fondness for my staff. I gave out my cell phone number to everyone in the office. I've never done that before. <laughs> I'm, you know, I imagine they'll utilize it. I hope they do. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I am very impressed with, my boss, the CEO, I thought he was going to be mad. I thought he was going to butt my head. I thought I was going to get yelled at. Like I went into his office like, oh, I got to talk to you. 
can we talk? <laughs> you know, <laughs> and he he was very understanding, and he has he has a wife, he has children, he has a family. Um, he was to his to his credit, very understanding and very gentle with me. So I'm I'm grateful. Well, you know. And I, I love hearing that because it also, it just, it speaks very highly of where, where you're at now and where you're going. And it also speaks to like you as, you know, a leader there and how, how much, the, how, how fondly they think of you. 